what we reported at the recent ASCO 2020 virtual meeting is a phase one dose escalation study of an, a compound called actinium-225 J591 in men with progressive metastatic prostate cancer, uh, which was castration resistant. Um, by brief way of background, because I think that most people understand what PSA, PSMA is as a cell surface target that's usually there in, in prostate cancer, uh, there are different ways to target it, um, and that's uh, a subtlety that, that many people don't realize uh, with different properties based on kinetics and biodistribution of a large antibody versus a small molecule. So we use a large antibody because even though it does have a long circulation time and potentially exposes the bone marrow uh, for a much longer time than, than a small molecule, it essentially only lands in areas that are PSMA positive in tumor and avoids landing in areas that are PSMA positive that are not tumor, such as the kidney, salivary glands, and small intestine. Uh, and there's other retrospective anecdotal reports. No one's done a prospective clinical trial of um, alpha particle radiolabeled small molecule PSMA, which causes a problem with the salivary glands. That's the dose limiting toxicity as it appears, although there's a, no prospective studies. So what we did is we enrolled uh, 22 patients um, at different dose levels, four dose levels with single subject um, cohorts. So we uh, minimize exposure to low doses and then three groups of six at the, the top five doses. Um, the bottom line is we did not hit a maximal tolerated dose. So a single subject in the sixth cohort had a grade four neutropenia, I'm sorry, thrombocytopenia and anemia uh, that was reversible. Um, but zero out of six in the highest planned cohorts, uh, dose level seven or 93 uh, kilobecquerel per kilogram, um, had a dose limiting toxicity. So we declared no MTD re reached, and that is the dose that's been used for the expansion cohort. Um, so overall, we saw safety. We reported the overall, besides dose limiting toxicity, we reported other AEs. A single subject had uh, grade three anemia that was transient. Besides that, there was no. Uh, grade three hematologic or non-hematologic toxicity in any of the, the 22 subjects. Um, we enrolled patients that could have essentially received any prior therapy, any number of prior therapies, including PSMA-targeted radionuclide therapy. And the majority actually did have prior PSMA-targeted radionuclide therapy with beta emitters, mostly lutetium. And we also didn't select out for PSMA-positive patients coming in. Despite that, the majority did have post-treatment PSA declines uh, with about 41% having at least a 50% PSA decline that we call the response. Um, in addition to that, uh, also there were, the majority of patients had circulating tumor cell count control. So our conclusion was that a single dose of this particular drug is safe, and we are finishing this particular trial um, in an expansion cohort.